Hi, I'm Alex, Assistant Gardener of the Charter House, and welcome to the next edition of the Charter House Garden Diaries. You can probably tell that I'm in a greenhouse, uh, where you may have seen me in our edition two months ago. I'm not going to be staying here very long, just pointing out that it's looking a little bit bare, whereas last time I was here it was full of seedlings and putting on plants, because today we're going to look at some of the places those seedlings and plants have gone to. So, location one. This majestic building here used to be the house where the preacher for the Charter House lived. Now it's accommodation for several of our brothers. I'm only briefly here to show you one thing, and that's this Nicotiana filling these two pots by this bench, because they were some of the things in the greenhouse. Now, as you can see, they've got these amazing and quite strange lime green flowers. Conveniently, this cultivar is called Nicotiana lime green. So not very imaginative, but you definitely can't get it wrong. And they're looking rather lovely, and as more of the plants mature, more of the flowers will come out and make a great display. Also goes really well with that beautiful clematis there. Before we go to our next location where things have been planted out, I'm just going to take you along. Not very exciting just here, a road, but we're outside Preacher's Court Garden. You can peek through into it just there. I just want to show you this border because it's looking lovely. So we've got geranium roseanne, the purple flowers there and geranium mycorrhizum there below it. The Santa Decias, the arum lilies, looking really gorgeous. Get in there. Beautiful. Some fever few, some rose campion poking through, and then we've got the hydrangeas. Oh, and a ladder. And they're all coming out now, and that's fantastic. Got white pinks everywhere. And here we are at location two. So I'm here in the Norfolk Cloister Garden. And you can see we've been working away putting out some new planting where something's come out so if we get down here we've got some quite small hookura we put those in they're gonna grow up big and strong hopefully some more of the geranium mycorrhizum the pink one we saw in the border before and here's some cleomedes they weren't doing so well in the greenhouse for some reason so we planted them out where hopefully they'll be a bit happier and get nice and big and then over here we put out some lysomachia plethoroides which will have these lovely white flower spikes on the top. Now if I walk you down through the cloister garden we can see another amazing hydrangea coming out, really vibrant pink there, and this beautiful clematis blue angel climbing there and here. And I think it's just so gentle and lovely. Now some of our planting again. You can see more of the Nicotiana lime green, not quite as established as the stuff in the pots, but when that all comes up that will have the same wonderful flowers. And here's our cosmos, big and tall, ready to flower any moment. You can see just the beginnings of flower bud there. Oh no, here's an actual flower. So that's lovely. And then last thing, we've got some hollyhocks, which will be coming up big and strong anytime soon. In a minute, I'll just take you somewhere where some hollyhocks are in flower so we can get a flavor of that. Beautiful. Hello again. So here I am in Master's Garden, which I'm not going to show you too much of yet because I'm going to be talking about that more in autumn. But just wanted to point you towards these lovely chocolate hollyhocks that have grown up at the edge of our wild garden. Different cultivar from the ones up in Norfolk Cloister, but you get the picture of what they can do. So that's all from me. Um, we've been getting everything ready for our open garden. Sadly, the one in June didn't happen because of the restrictions not lifting, but our one at the end of July and the end of August absolutely will. And uh, you can get tickets for those on our website, and hopefully you'll come along and see how everything's looking then.